Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. The two star actors, Oduladi Adekola and Walalini Noluwu, have been updating their fans on social media platforms for some days now. These two are out of the country with some other actors. And they've been sharing some fun times with their fans, sharing some short clips and pictures. Over the years, a lot of actors have mentioned Otunladi as their mentor in the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. And of course, he has been compared to some actors, both in the English genre and Yoruba genre of Nollywood. And for a very long period of time, a lot of people referred to the other star actor, Latif Adetola Adedimeji, as Odunade Adekola's younger brother. Latif Adetola Adedimeji grew up in Abeokuta, part of Lukon State, where Odunade resides, even though originally is from Ikiti State. It is not until after some years that Latif finally addressed this, because a lot of people, a lot of sites used to refer to him then as Odunade's younger brother from the way they act their height and some other characteristics. However, we've not seen him up close and personal with the other star actor Bolan Lini Noluo until this time. And these two are thrilling their fans with this their recent updates. In one of the updates that Nino had shared, he referred to Odulade as his brother from another mother. And a lot of Nigerians are noticing something similar in almost all the clips and pictures that they've shared so far and they are calling the attention of the actors to this many are saying these two are beginning to look alike in fact you would think that they are truly brothers from the same mother and they are calling the attention to the striking resemblance of those two of course the effect could be from their height stature and head shape these are some of the comments that their fans have dropped on social media. So what are your thoughts? Do these two truly look alike? Or there are some other actors that Nigerians have mentioned share strike resemblance over the years. Please stay with us. The actor Sukumi Mombalali and Francis Duru have been mentioned to share strike resemblance over the years. Sukumi Omobolali is the son of Sunday Omobolali, who is probably called Papi Luwe. Of course, he had been appearing in movies right from a very young age. However, his father didn't want him to become an actor. In fact, he had sent him to a military school. But then, it was his stepmom that had to talk to his father before he finally gave in and allowed Sukumi to pursue his passion in the acting movie industry. Sukomi was born in 1981, so he's currently in his 40s, whilst Francis Duru is currently in his 50s. A lot of people even get shocked that Sukomi is in his 40s. According to so many Nigerians, he does not look his age. And fortunately, unfortunately for Papilue, Sukomi is the only child of Papilue that has followed his path in the entertainment industry. His stepmom is Beju Ogumola. And Sukami has featured in movies like Gongwa So, Olade Rawa, Ori, Enyolonke, Itofufu, and Alajuta. This is just to mention a few of them. He's also a movie producer. He has produced at least two movies, including JJ and Ifeiwe. Francis Duro, on the other hand, as Ellen mentioned, is in the English sector and Igbo sector of Nollywood. He's currently in his 50s. He was born on July 27, 1969, so he's currently 53 years old. And he has been active in the movie industry since the year 1989. He debuted in the Nigerian movie industry in 1989 with the movie titled Missing Mark. He's one of the highly sorted after actors. And he's known for movies like The Good Husband, Tears from Holland, Rattlesnake, Missing Mark. He has featured on a lot of Blobbers movies and is a multi award winning actor. In fact, he won the 2020 Best of Nerd Awards for Best Actor in the Legio Igbo category. He became prominent in the Nigerian movie industry in 1994 after featuring in an action comedy movie titled Rattlesnake. 
a movie produced by the now deceased director Amaka Igwe. He played a significant role in the character called Ahana. So Sukum Yomobalali is usually being referred to as a lookalike of this actor Francis Drew. And of course, as Ellie mentioned, Latif Aditola Adidimiji and this actor Dula Adikola have been mentioned over the years to share striking resemblance. In fact, some people refer to them as brothers. And so many Yoruba movie lovers for so many years believed that Latif was the younger brother of Odunla de Adekola. Coupled with the fact that the two are from Abeokuta, of course Odunla is not originally from Abeokuta, but because he lives there, so many Nigerians just automatically assume that he was from Abeokuta, but he is from Ekiti State. In fact, a lot of sources have claimed that when Odunla de Adekola leaves the entertainment industry, it is Latif that is going to take over. And the actor also confirmed this in an interview when he said that we have met a lot of times and he would always tell me that if he leaves this work and I take over as we purely look alike. But I said my character is different, but he tells me you have to wrap it up. Nonetheless, it has been fun all the way. According to the actor, he looks up to Odunadi Adikola and though he would not really want to take over the man, but he learns a lot from him and his other senior colleagues in the entertainment industry. The two actors are among the best actors in the entire Nigerian movie industry, both in the English sector and the Yoruba sector of Nollywood. In fact, Latif became the second highest grossing actor in the entire Nollywood this year. And both are also multi-award winning actors, winning both national and international awards back to back. And just like Odunla Adi Adikola, Latif Adi Tola Adi Dimij was also in the movie industry for a very long time before he gained popularity. But then once he featured in his first major role in Kudi Klep 2, the sky became the beginning for Latif. And since then, he has featured in over 100 Nigerian movies. The both of them are brand ambassadors to reputable brands today. They have lots of mouth-watering endorsement deals. So these two are doing quite well for themselves. And they've been tagged brothers for so long. Well, there are some other actors, but time won't permit us to mention them. And we have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned on a new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.